Hi, this is Lori Zook with Estate Max. I'm here to interview Steve Berryman, our Vice President of Sales. Steve, please introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm the guy you see in the voice on the videotapes if you've seen any of our Estate Max videos. Uh, I'm Steve Berryman. I've been working with Lori and Estate Max for about 10 years. We've uh, created quite the extensive estate sale company. Lori's been doing it for about 24 years in total. Uh, my background is in sales, sales management, uh, and construction estimating, among other things, for big boxes and construction companies. Uh, I bring those talents and the ability to price things to the job, and I help manage the sales. My job is cashiering and security, and I help with client relations on top of that. I basically am the front man, and Lori backs me up. Lori's the boss. So, Steve, tell me, what makes Estate Max different? Well, a lot of things, Lori. For starters, in the state of Maryland, anybody can be in the estate sale business, and that makes it confusing for clients and the real estate agents in terms of uh, selecting a qualified estate sale company. Um, estate Max has been doing it for 24 years. We're licensed, bonded, and insured. We take care of the details. Uh, we have over 100 reviews on Better Business Bureau, BBB. Uh, we have also been Super Service Award winners with Angie's List. And we have a whole cadre of videos on our own custom YouTube channel, cleverly entitled Estate Max, for you to look at and see direct examples of how, how we do what we do. Thank you, Steve. Steve, what exactly are Estate Max's turnkey services? Glad you asked that one. Uh, we start with a free consultation so you know exactly what your options are, what you're getting into, and what we can potentially do for you. So we offer different items from a menu, basically, starting with uh, our contract, which is unique. Uh, we offer professional organization, uh, which is optional, uh, which offers additional services. Full move management is a possibility. We can recommend a real estate agent to you if you don't have one. Uh, we can make you a space plan to figure out what you want to take and what you want to leave. Uh, we can organize sorting and packing if you have a complex job that's especially helpful. Um, we can create a timeline so you know when to engage a mover and when you have to do what by when by. Uh, we can arrange for a mover. We know several moving services if you need one. And uh, we've worked with many people so we can, we can tell you and vet them. Uh, most importantly, we offer to conduct a true estate sale. That is the heart of our business. Conducting a true estate sale where we invite the public into your house for typically a three-day estate sale and we sell enough stuff and make enough money for you to, to hopefully make you a profit in addition to paying for whatever it costs to do the final move out of whatever's left over after an estate sale. No matter how good you are or what you have, there's always a percentage of things that remains after the sale, and we manage the final clean out on your behalf. Steve, please explain the details of a true in-home estate sale. And we call it a tag sale, too. And, and by the way, a tag sale or in-home estate sale is much more valuable than an auction, for instance, because we can get a lot more people to see your stuff than an auctioneer does, in part because we use street signs and 25% of the people that come don't come just from our internet advertising or newspaper advertising. Uh, they come from street signs. But the way a true estate sale works is that once we sign a contract, we've taken a deposit, and you've agreed to give us a, a certain percentage of commission. That depends upon what kind of stuff you have. That's by agreement and that's by contract. Uh, we come in and we take a look at your stuff. We arrange it, we unpack it if we need to. We set up tables if we need to. Uh, we group things together. The goal is that everybody who walks in the sale needs to see everything that's there. We're constantly directing traffic. It's a very dynamic process. So setup and pricing typically takes between two and three days. Then we conduct a Friday, Saturday, Sunday estate sale, typically for a normal-sized estate sale. First day at Friday is at regular price. We put more hours into our sale than anybody else does. Second day Saturday is 30% off. Third day Friday, with what is left after hundreds of people have taken a look at your stuff, is half off. Many times we've gotten people back to the sale two to three or four times because people wait and see what they can get away with pricing-wise. Uh, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday is the sale. Typically, we take Monday off and take, take some rest, and Tuesday is your typical clean-out day. Uh, after the clean-out, 
We make sure that we total all the receipts for you. We save a receipt from every transaction. We mail you the original receipt so you can see what got sold. And uh, we total them up. That becomes your sales total. And we take a percentage out of that. You get the lion's share of that percentage. And we wire transfer that to you by agreement into your checking account by the Friday of that week. And again, on Tuesday, we have completely cleaned out your home. By the time we're done, your home is broom clean. Um, if you need a, an extra cleaning service hired, we can, we can uh, arrange the hiring of an extra cleaning service if you think that's necessary, uh, whatever you need. So basically, all you need to do is, is take out what you love from the property, leave the rest, and we can sell it. Doesn't matter whether it's a motor vehicle or a can of Campbell's soup, we can sell it and have sold virtually everything. Hey Steve, so explain how we market and advertise a typical estate sale. Yeah, that, that's a great question. There really is no such thing as a, a typical estate sale, by the way. They're like little snowflakes. They're, everyone's is really very different. And the two most important elements in a estate sale are number one, get the pricing right. And that's where Lori and I have 50 years combined experience in how to price things. And we research the things we don't understand. So pricing things and having people not be insulted or not undercharged, which doesn't do our client any good. Uh, we, we are very good at pricing, but the real secret to an estate sale is you get as many people as possible through those doors. And we average anywhere from three to 500 folks through the door, not all at the same time, over the course of a, a three day period. And again, we put more hours into the sales effort itself than any of our competition does. Now, how do we get a lot of people through the door? Well, it's not rocket science, it's doing a lot of different things just a little bit better than the competition. And that begins with doing great photography, typically we'll do two to 300 pictures, and videos. People love videos, which we link and post to our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, cleverly entitled Estate Max. We'll have typically two to three 10 minute videos or sometimes even longer, and we'll post those to our YouTube channel and we'll send those links out to community-based web pages to Facebook web pages, and we'll add them to our professional advertising, which we conduct on the best estate sale websites in the business. We own subscriptions annually to estatesales.net, estatesales.org, and estatesales.com, and our advertising is produced there, including a lot of written detail that Lori takes care of, and my videos and pictures, uh, which are kind of my specialty, are all posted on these websites, for instance, you can go to estatesales.net, which is one of the biggest ones, and find information two to three weeks even prior to the sale. So you can put it on your calendar, make sure you come to Estate Max as a estate sale first, because uh, we, we pick and choose the ones that we do very carefully. And our, our clientele knows that. People shop with us. And a lot of times people come to our sales first simply because they know we pick really interesting sales. We kind of get the pick of the litter. Uh, we get a lot of referrals from real estate agents and uh, we're very well known and have a following. We have a following of, of probably 100 to 300 people that come to some or all of our estate sales. A lot of them know us by name, we know them by name. Somebody might come in and we take a look at their face, we'll go, yeah, the, the China's over here and train sets are over there, the electronics are in the basement. And we know these people by what their specialty is. And it, it, it's not uncommon at all. So we also own the mailing lists for these estate sale websites too. So by owning a subscription to estatesales.org, for instance, whatever subscri subscribers they have, we get their access to their email. So they might have 15,000 people within a 10-minute drive of, of Rockville, Maryland, for instance. We get to send each and every one of those people an email, not only from our email list, but we go to their email list and use theirs as well. And you multiply that out and you start looking at our efforts on uh, Facebook, and our efforts on YouTube, Lori and I sat down with a pen and paper one day and figured out we get out to over 300,000 qualified buyers who are known to have attended or be interested in estate sales. We get a lot of people to the sale. Hey Steve, why is it important to uh, price individual items? Great question, because it it's time intensive and it's labor intensive to do that requires a lot of evaluation to, to individually price items. We do it because it establishes a value in the customer's mind. If somebody sees a price, they're much more likely to wander in their own mind. Is, you know, is that better than I could get in the store? Is it a, a great value because it's something you can't buy anymore? 
once you establish a price in somebody's head, if they like it, they buy it. If they don't like it, at least you have a starting point for a negotiation. And uh, we're willing to negotiate on days one, two, and three, but we're the ones who get to say yes or no because we know when to hold the line and when not. We are expert professional negotiators, absolutely. Um, and the other reason you want to individually price things is you want to be able to take advantage of the progressive markdown program, which I explained earlier, which is full price on Friday, if you dare to wait, maybe somebody else will buy it. You maybe can get a 30% discount on Saturday and maybe a 50% discount on Sunday. But by having items individually priced, we can take advantage of the magnetism of bringing people back over and over to get progressive markdowns. Steve, people always ask me what we do with what doesn't sell. Can you answer that question? Absolutely. Um, it's a great question. No matter what you have, I don't care what what quality is, how much of it you have. Some of it gets sold and some of it remains unsold. On a, on a good sale, we might sell 95% of what's there. Depending upon what the, the offerings are, it might only be 60% of what's there. There's always things left over, and it's never anything that you would expect. You know, some, sometimes you can we can figure out, oh yeah, that'll sell, and then it doesn't. And sometimes we'll sell something we didn't think would sell at all. But there's always something to move. What happens is, uh, we'll hire our own professional in-house removal company and go ahead and after the sale is over, have things boxed up, packed up, and we'll, we'll take things, depending upon what they are, to a local charity, maybe the ReStore, maybe Goodwill, depends on what it is and where we are. But we manage the, the takeout so that the house is empty so we can prepare for your broom cleaning. And what do you get out of it? You get the benefit of receipts, so you can actually take significant deductions on your tax return based upon things we've taken to charity on your behalf. Okay. okay, Steve, so can you explain how we pay our clients at the end of the sale? Sure, and, and it's in our contract. Uh, very simply, uh, we've taken items and we, we do MasterCard and Visa, so some of the money goes into a specific account. We take the money from that account and wire transfer it directly to you on the Friday following the sale, so it'll remind you in the contract, we need to have a routing number and an account number and the address of your bank and so on and so on in order to wire transfer that money. It comes to you very quickly. And then of course, Lori snail mails you a, a package, including a, a write-up of how we did uh, along with the balance sheet and a copies of all the original white invoices. So you can see on a per transaction basis, how much we sold that TV for, how much we sold that lawn tractor for. It's really pretty straightforward. Thanks, Steve. Hey, Steve, in our contract, I always ask for the client to review our services. Why is that important? And we like to get a review from absolutely 100% of everybody we, we deal with, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. I can tell you from past experience, they're typically five-star reviews. They typically speak to our professionalism and we made them more money than they thought they were going to get because we, we never overpromise. So we get reviews and we put them in Angie's List, we put them in Better Business Bureau, we put them in, in Google. And again, we ask for them directly in the contract. We want to make sure that we did what we said we would do. And if for some reason we've left something out or forgotten something, we want to have an opportunity to fix it for you. And again, you can see our, our current reviews. Uh, they're all over the internet. It's very important uh, that you leave an honest review and a positive review because we're not done until you're ready to give us a good review. So I'm gonna, lastly, I'm gonna show you one of our cards which kind of is a reminder of, of some of our services, just as kind of a recap to our conversation. I wanna say thanks for listening. Thanks for watching our video, whether you're a, a potential client or a real estate agent. We wanna thank you very much for your attention and uh, thank you, we'll see you at the next sale.